Hello, everyone. So, uh, yeah, this is weird. Um, you're all watching me on the screen right now. Um, I just can only assume that Seth needs to be quiet. Um, and, you know, somebody's out of the bathroom. But anyway, um, what we're going to be watching in the next part of the class is a very long video. It's probably the longest we've done so far. Um, it's going to be about 30 minutes. And the reason why we're doing that is because we need to flash forward from Act 4, Scene 1, which we dealt with yesterday, and we need to get to the end of the play in Act 5, Scene 3. So we need to skip an entire act and a half. Um, some of those scenes that we're skipping aren't a big deal. Uh, there's a number of scenes with cooks and servants that talk that have no bearing on our interpretation of the play. So we're going to skip those entirely. However, we need to get to um, a point where Romeo and Juliet find themselves uh, in a situation where they're going to end their lives. So for those people who did yesterday's work, the gist of yesterday is simple. Juliet's going to fake her death. Friar Lawrence uh, gave her a potion that's going to have her basically look and feel like she is dead. So once she takes it, everyone's going to think she's dead. She's going to be in that state for a period of time. They're going to bring her body to the Juliet tomb where Hibbolt's lying there and all the other Capulets. And then Romeo's going to get word of this, right? Friar Lawrence is going to send word to Romeo and Romeo's going to know the plan. He's going to sneak back in from Mantua, sneak back into Verona. And when she wakes up, he's going to be there. And he and Friar Lawrence are, will be with her. And then Friar Lawrence will, excuse me, Romeo will sneak off and uh, live with Juliet happy ever after. It's not the perfect ending, but at least they get to be together. And so, yeah, that's kind of solves the problem of her running away and her family chasing after her or her running away to Romeo and everyone getting upset. Instead, he's going to stay banished and she is going to um, be dead for all of her family's purposes. So... We pick up today, on the, on the next slide, you're going to pick up the video where Juliet is talking to Friar Lawrence. So we'll start with yesterday's reading, and we're going to get all the way to the, uh, to the tomb, to where Romeo and Juliet end up killing themselves, which will be a later part of the lesson. I'm going to compile a number of different parts of different videos. So I'm going to start with the modern version, and then we're going to transition to the old version, and then we're finally we're going to uh, go to the play version. So all three versions are in today's video watching. So it's a half an hour. There are going to be a couple different times where I stop and ask questions on the, on the Nearpod. So um, there are going to be multiple choice just so uh, we're all checking our understanding. And then we'll, uh, we'll pick up uh, after that. So I've rambled enough. Click the next slide and you will uh, watch the video.